In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the orbital data tab, which is used to simulate um, momentum maps um, from gas phase molecular orbitals. And there are two ways to import uh, molecular orbitals. You can either import them from a local source, then you go here to load local, uh, load orbital data locally. Uh, then you're, uh, you can select a cube file from your uh, computer with which either has already the extension .cube or if it hasn't then you have to uh, show all files here uh, so and then you can uh, select cube file that you want to load and not only one but by pressing the shift button or the control button you can mark several several at the same time and then you just for instance i want to load this three orbitals of PTCDA, click on open, then it takes a few seconds until the data is imported, and then uh, you get a new uh, orbital data tab, which is called orbitals. By the way, you can now, you can uh, simply by double clicking on the, on the name of a tab here, you can rename the tab, which is quite useful, actually. Uh, or rename it to PTCDA because this uh, tab contains uh, three orbitals of PTCDA. Um, and you see that all of them are now in use, which means they're summed together. This is what you see here on the right hand side. If you only want to see, if you want to see only one of them, uh, you just um, unclick the other two. Uh, and then what you also see here is if you click on one of those orbitals here, uh, you see um, a, a preview of the orbital in real space and momentum space. And, and it's a three-dimensional view. Just by pressing, holding uh, the left mouse button, you can uh, turn and by scrolling in uh, with the, uh, the, the, the wheel of your mouse, you can zoom in. You can always reset the camera if you like. Um, Okay, well, what else can you do? You can uh, change the orientation of your orbital, of the molecule. And for changing the orientation, there's these three angles, phi, theta, and psi, which are the Euler angles um, defining the rotation of the molecule. So phi, for instance, is a rotation around the z-axis, then theta, is a rotation around the current x-axis and psi is again a rotation about the now new z-axis so with these three angles you can turn the molecule in all possible directions and you can always uh, see uh, what the orientation of the molecule with respect to this the surface which is represented by this grid here looks like uh, uh, what is quite convenient is uh, uh, maybe switch back to zero here. For instance, just can also do it like this. Uh, you can uh, rotate all the orbitals here, in the, or some of the orbitals in the in this um, in the list here, by the same angles, but just holding uh, the the control button, marking, for instance, these two orbitals. And then if I still hold the control button, I can change the angles uh, for all uh, orbitals in the same way. Yeah, so I can, um, yes, rotate all the orbitals. And I can, for instance, look at the sum of the two. By the way, the weight here is basically uh, is used here here on the right hand side in, in the summation over all these orbitals which are in use. It's a weighted sum here on the right hand side. Okay, what else can you do here um, on this orbital data tab? You can, uh, <coughs> for these uh, preview images, you can uh, switch on, switch off the isosurface in real space. You can also change the isosurface value if you would like. Um, you can 
show or not show the the bounds of the molecule you can also switch and on, switch on and off the photon now let me the fo photo direction uh, this is important in conjunction with this part here the polarization factor which is defined here so currently actually what is shown is the only the um, the absolute value of the wave function squared and you can choose here between the three options here just the wave function squared or just the a dot k factor uh, or both of them the, the product of two which is the actually the default emission intensity um, so if you yes uh, then you can choose for the polarization between different polarization options p polar slide are uh, in the torrid geometry basically meaning that the sample is rotated and then you can also go to other options like nano p polarization uh, where where the um, a dot k factor looks like this and then you can change here the angles of incidence which is defined with if you go to larger values then you go uh, more grazing incidence if i have zero then it's normal incidence uh, and you can also change the atomos of the incoming light here between zero and 360 degrees yeah for instance now the light is coming a uh, year from the bottom right for instance yeah and i can show change the polarization uh, direction as polarized light as polarized light then there's an option for unpolarized light currently this means uh, equal amounts of p and s pol polarized conditions uh, then there is also circularly polarized light in right-handed and left-handed polarization and there is a also the possibility to take to calculate the difference between the two uh, between right-handed and left-handed which is called the circular uh, dichroism of uh, the angular circular dichroism in the angular distribution that's what it's called and of course would you be aware this this um, option is actually for the for the uh, it's um, this difference is actually zero strict, strict, strictly zero for uh, a plane wave final state the reason why there's still some uh, contrast is because I assume some damping of the uh, final state plane wave here okay so let's maybe switch back to uh, the say torrid people are at light here so what else can you do here on this uh, orbital data tab you can of course you can uh, choose the kinetic energy um, which we also see here the the hemisphere gets more or larger depending on which value for the kinetic energy you're choosing here and then you can also change the resolution here in in case space so maybe you see it better oops that is now takes a bit you maybe see it better if i go to smaller um, kinetic energy you can change the resolution here in the momentum space and then uh, last but not least you can also change the the symmetry uh, yes the symmetry um, so if for instance uh, if you have a twofold symmetric substrate then you can uh, take this into account and there's always two options twofold plus mirror which mirror always means that uh, assuming that the substrate the orientations are along the x and y the principal substrate uh, symmetry axis along x and y then there's an additional mirror plane involved here um, a mirror symmetry involved here you can well, go to threefold or threefold and mirror and fourfold and fourfold and mirror 
Okay, so in, in the beginning I mentioned that there's two ways to load orbitals. One is to uh, use uh, local cube files. You can also load orbitals from the online database. Go to load orbital data online. And then you get here uh, a all, all orbitals all molecular orbitals that are currently in the online database for instance if we want to load say um, certain molecule I can also search for instance I want to have sexy phenyl uh, then it finds it here and then I can select again either one orbital or already several orbitals can load them now. That takes also time because it's now I get here, you see the scroll bar, the two new orbitals, the 6p homo and the 6p homo minus one. Maybe I'll give this to them. Um, yes, uh, you can always delete an orbital from the list here, which I will do now because I want to show something else. Uh, so I delete these two orbitals because I actually want to uh, have a second tab here with orbitals. So I can go to the menu tabs, open new orbital tab. And then if I now uh, load orbitals, then it will the new orbitals will be added to the currently activated orbital tab. So I will Again, maybe choose uh, whatever yeah, pentacene, choose orbitals of pentacene. Say the homo, homo minus one and the homo minus two. By pressing hold the shift, shift button, I can select several orbitals at the same time. Okay, it takes a few seconds, and then the orbitals are there. Again, by double clicking, I can rename the tab to whatever name I like here, yeah? Pentacene. There's one more thing that I forgot to show you is uh, tooltips. If you are uh, on top of your mouse, if you place the mouse on top of the orbital here, then you get information about the, the orbital here. And the, the, the information is taken from the database. In particular, you see here, uh, well, once again, the name, you also, but you also see the energy, the, uh, the orbital energy. You see if it's occupied or unoccupied. You see the symmetry, AU, for instance, and, and things like this. And um, this is information which is taken from the database. If you load the orbital locally, do you also get some tooltip information, but here you don't get the information, uh, for instance, on the orbital energy because this is not contained in the cube file. Okay, th this is what I wanted to show you uh, um, about the orbital map. I mean, the, this is trivial. You can also change the, the color map here, but, but maybe I'll show you some. Okay, this was the first part of my, my tutorial about the orbital data tab.